Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike here, and today guys, I got really fantastic news. Uh, iOS 5.0 Beta 2 is now out, and there are going to be links in the description to download everything. Uh, I want to go over a couple things right now. Okay, now you're going to get links in the description to a site, uh, Mr. AJ's Tech, who's going to give you links to all of the iDevices that can run iOS 5.0 Beta 2. So you're going to get links for that, plus you're going to get links to iTunes. 10.5 beta 2. Now another thing, uh, when I booted up my iPod Touch to run iOS 5, this is this iPod Touch is now running iOS 5 uh, beta 2. Uh, that voiceover thing where you could bypass it, I'm, I think is disabled now. I don't. I think I'm pretty sure Apple fixed it, but um, it doesn't matter because my friend registered my UDID for me, so I'm all set with that. But I don't think you can do it anymore, so you do need to be a registered developer. But links are going to be in the description if you can't get them for some reason. Uh, if you need them, everything is going to be in the description, like I said, for Mr. AJ's Tech. Uh, there are a few new features. The main one is now that you could sync OTA with iTunes. That's a pretty good feature. And the software updates thing that was fixed. So that's another really good thing. And otherwise, I haven't really seen any other features. Another thing I wanted to add, you don't necessarily need iTunes 10.5 Beta 2 unless you want to sync music and apps to your device. Otherwise, you don't need iTunes 10.5 Beta 2. Um, you can set up your device with it. You don't necessarily need it. Alright guys, so again, links will be in the description to iOS 5.0 Beta 2. And on Monday, you'll get a full review of iOS 5. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.